Hey everybody, it's Ty Inspire and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode of Heart to Heart with Ty. And today I am excited to have my guest. <laughs> yes, this is Precious Hannah. Yes, and she is an amazing individual who's doing some amazing things here in Ghana. She's also a fellow YouTuber. Yes. So we are going to chat today and just have a conversation about you, about your life and your life here. Thank yes. you. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. We're so glad to have you. So, why don't you start by telling us what brought you here to Ghana? Because you are from the UK, correct? Yes. yes. So, how did you end up here? Uh, I always tell people that I don't like the UK. Okay. <laughs> yeah, basically, I just don't like London. Not like um, but yes, my parents are Ghanaian, so um, I have strong roots here. I used to come here on holiday as a kid. Mm -hmm. Never really understood it until I was older. I always say when you're younger, you're your mom's handbag because you have to go with her everywhere. everywhere. And it just makes everything so dull and boring. Uh -huh. But then I reached 20. Uh -huh. I'm using Ghana English. I turned 20 years old. That's uh -huh. proper English. Yes. <laughs> <And then laughs> I came with my parents on holiday and then I got to hang out with my cousins and that was a different experience. That hey. was like, wow, this turn is up. God, <laughs> yes, turn up. <laughs> so I saw it for myself, like, you guys are chilling. Ooh. And we are there and it's miserable. It's always gray, it's always yeah, raining. You make yeah. plans and it's just, well. Uh. <laughs> so yeah, and I, um, yeah, I didn't want to live that rat race life, you know? Mm -hmm. So. When I, uh, after come going and coming and going and coming, I started an NGO. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, it, it literally, I was in Ghana. One day I woke up and I was like, yeah, I cannot finish university and wake up and to gray clouds and be going to and from work. And that's my life. Yeah. I don't want that for myself. Uh -huh. So I was like, what am I going to do? So five years ago, after a soon like two days after graduation, mm -hmm. I was out of there. Like I <laughs> ran. <laughs> okay. So yes, it was a very um Okay, I planned it. It seemed very hasty, mm -hmm. but I planned it because it was like a year of planning, a year of saving. Okay. Like working um, mm -hmm. three jobs while I was in uni. Wow. Yeah, it was yeah. it was a lot, and I loved every second of it. Okay, and because you had the goal, exactly. the main goal. Like, yeah, and exactly. that's what's important. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Literally, everyone I saw, like everyone I encountered or spoke to, would be like, "Oh yeah, I'm going to Ghana. I'm going to live in Ghana. I'm going to live in Africa. <laughs> I'm going to live in Africa." I was very proud and very very yes. So, yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. That is amazing. And and the excitement is what we need here. Mm -hmm. We need that excitement about wanting to do something. And, you know, you already kind of had background. You know, your parents are, you know, you're Ghanaian, basically. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so you knew what to kind of expect. Did you think, do you think that helped you with deciding to move here and then with living here? Yes, it did. It actually, yes. <laughs> I was going to say it actually mm -hmm. did. Um, I think as well that I, I don't know like I wonder I always wonder if my parents had taken me anywhere in the world mm -hmm. that had son yeah at the time in my life where I was just like UK is just miserable yeah. I wonder if I would have been living there instead because I would have done anything yeah. to escape the UK and I know a lot of people are looking at me like are you crazy like the uh. UK you have so many opportunities but I feel like for me um, it's a bit different. It was actually my friends that had to break it down and be like, "Your sis, it's it's different for you because I left straight after uni. I had no expectations of like, you know, working a nine to five and let's say earning thirty k a year. I didn't right. have like, I never lived that life, so yeah. like, I'm not missing out on that. That's right. I hope that I hope that makes sense. No, yeah, it does. Make but sense. yeah, so yeah. now I understand when people have lived a life where you know they're earning. 30k dollars or um, pounds plus and then they come to Ghana and they're living on like $500 a month right it's like huh right. but for it's me tough. I mean I never had that I literally came went to university I went to the University of Ghana before that's right yeah, yeah. so yeah um, straight after uni I went to the I studied dance I always say I studied dance studies mm -hmm. and then I came to the University of Ghana I was obsessed with African dance mm -hmm. and African dance style so I did dance ethnography which is the study of ethnic groups wow. which was amazing wow. so you know I had like the student lifestyle mm -hmm. and then I had the you know 
working, hustling kind of lifestyle and trying to figure out what you want to do after. Mm-hmm. So I really, you know, eased my way into it. That's right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good. You know, it's a whole different perspective than I think what I've heard from other people, you know, yeah. that have come from America, from the UK. Like you said, most people have worked mm-hmm. and they're just tired of life, you know, yeah. that type of life. So they come here. But your story is a little bit different, yeah. which is interesting. Yeah. So how are you getting along? Like, how do you like living here um, honestly and um, yeah how do you like it um I always say this to start off Mm -hmm. because uh, guys I'm gonna let you know I'm gonna let you in in a little secret I'm very biased okay (laughs) everything that I say about Ghana is like flowers and roses and happiness and sunshine but Uh that's not the truth (laughs) Uh it's not like people will tell you so um, yeah don't hold me to it but Mm -hmm. for me Ghana has been fantastic it has been absolutely amazing Mm -hmm. I always say that you have to pick your battles Mm -hmm. like you choose where you pick your battles and fight your battles I have chosen to fight my battles in Ghana because sometimes I talk to my parents who are still in the UK and I realise that we are actually fighting the same battles just in different climates Uh, in different continents with different people you know like today (laughs) politically they just announced that the UK has lost their Prime Minister for 45 days yes yes (laughs) exactly and in Ghana things are happening that crazy the pound is now 14 one pound is 14 cities and it's crazy so that's like the dollar is now 13.5 or something like that right so you know I mean we're all going through some things that's right (laughs) we are but I've just decided to pick like fight my battles in Ghana I like that yeah yeah apart from that all of the negative for me I am happy I know you know financially sometimes there's a bit of a struggle Mm -hmm. but Mm -hmm. again I'm fighting my battle here and I'm peaceful I'm happy I wake up the sky is you know, blue, not grey. <laughs> right. There's sunshine shining into my room. You yes. Know. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yes, like I said, over and over again, you have to decide what your why is and what you really want. And when you decide that, then it doesn't matter what's going on around you. You learn how to make it work. For sure. And so I think that's what it's about. You know, it's not to say that uh, we're not being honest about the problems and the challenges, but it's to say that we have decided that even with those challenges, because there are challenges everywhere you live, yeah. doesn't matter where you are, but with those, um, and they're different challenges, they are, mm-hmm. but w- we have decided that this is the challenges that we are going to, to, <laughs> to accept face. and face. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's good. I'm gl- Ghana is, is lucky to have you. Oh, so you. we're happy you're here. Yeah. Thank and just, <laughs> you know, continue to do what you're doing. Thank you. Yeah. So what about travel? So was your first experience living abroad, traveling abroad, coming here to Ghana? Hmm, Okay. Sometimes I do wish I can turn back the hands of time. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Because if I had... The funny thing is, if I had known that my end goal was to live in Ghana when, you know, a little bit sooner, I would have traveled so much more. Okay. You know, like, I would have done Europe. Yes. And oh, yeah. When and it's not there. expensive, you know? It's not. I would have taken the 30 pound flights, gone to Amsterdam, gone to France, gone to here, gone to there. That's right. But I was too busy caught up in, again, the rat race that I didn't even realize. By the time I was, you know, ready to leave, I was like, oh, yeah. damn. I mean, the only places I had really been to was Ghana so yeah. it was like back and forth and to be honest from the time I was 20 the first time I came back as an adult um, before then not much travel experience maybe mm-hmm. you know no actually no not at all <laughs> <laughs> but then um, after that time I kept coming back by myself like I would literally okay. find myself in Ghana twice a year okay so yeah, that's but, travel mm-hmm. yeah but then again I wish I explored other countries before I was like yep because mm-hmm. now girl <laughs> it's hard it is hard yeah, so, yeah. especially coming from here mm, yeah. if you so want to go anywhere else exactly so I always advise people um if you're coming, if you know you're going to live in Ghana, I mean, like, spread your wings and fly. There's so much of the world to see, you know. Don't limit yourself to Ghana. Yeah. You know, go and explore and go and come back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. But you've done a lot of traveling within Ghana. So let's yes. talk about that. Yes. Where have you been in Ghana? Um, 
I feel like I haven't been to enough places. <laughs> There's so, so much I have to see. But I know this year I've done about five regions, bearing in mind that Ghana used to have 10 regions and now we have 16 regions. So I have a <laughs> long way to go. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I've been to Ashanti region, Eastern region, Volta region. We met in the Volta region. We did. That was fun. We did. I'm going yes. back there again. Oh, yeah. good. <laughs> uh, me too. <laughs> it's necessary. We were just talking about that. Yeah. yeah. And um, where else? Uh, Eastern region is one of my favorite places. Yeah. Central region. I don't know why I can't think of any other regions, but yes, I've explored like Kumasi, uh -huh. um, Cape Akasombo, Coast, Cape Coast, uh -huh. uh, Pram Pram, mm -hmm. uh, Jita, where we, where we met. Um, uh -huh. I can't think. Have can't you I been think? up north to like Tamale? No, no that's not my yet. next goal. Okay. But, but the reason why is because I refuse to sit in a bus. <laughs> Okay. I want a flight. Uh -huh. I deserve the soft life. <laughs> I don't want to do a twenty. I don't want to do a twenty-hour bus journey when I can sit in the plane for like I two hours. I would not suggest it. Uh, I did it that yeah. way, and it was brutal. Yeah, it was. Yeah. You can tell me about that. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I like long road trips yeah. like that too, but yeah, not here in, in Ghana, I wouldn't no. suggest it. Especially if there's no AC. Yeah, oh well, yeah, no AC. Mm -hmm. And just at nighttime driving and everything. Oh, and the drivers are not very, um, I'm gonna say respectful of your life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. I wanna leave my life into somebody's hands, especially at, at night. Uh -huh. oh. Yeah, so it's pretty scary. So yeah, I wouldn't mm. suggest it. <laughs> but definitely go when you can. Yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah, so I know it's on the list. But you are also, now, Location Ghana. Oh, yeah. That is your business, just somewhere you're partnering with, <laughs> no, your I, significant other. It's my significant other's okay, business, but I call, it, I call it my stepchild because okay. <laughs> I met him, he, he had it under control before I stepped into the picture, but you know, okay. as a woman, I will claim that I upgraded it. <laughs> I but we usually do, that's, yeah, what, that's exactly. our job, right? That's what we're supposed <laughs> to do. <laughs> so yeah, so it is my partner's business, and honestly, it's funny because we actually met through the page, um, in 2020 okay so yes and um, we, we've been friends and stuff mm -hmm. like that and uh -huh. then um, as time went on and we spoke a lot about location Ghana we met each other and blah 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 mm -hmm. but now moving into present day we now do um, curated day trips around Ghana okay so we have three main trips that we do mm -hmm. um, we do our east, two eastern region trips and central region trips. So that's Cape Coast, at Kakum National Park in Cape Coast. Mm -hmm. And then the eastern region trip, we go to uh, Shy Hills, um, Shy Hills Resource Reserve. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, Adomi Bridge um, in Akusumbu and Royal Senchi, Afrikiko, like giving you a bit of everything so you mm. really explore the place. Uh -huh. And then our second day trip is quad, it's like a quad biking day trip. So we go to Ibri. Wow. Um, Ibri Botanical Gardens and then we go Idukrum for quad biking and then Asanama Waterfalls which is absolutely beautiful. Okay, I need to be on that one for yeah. sure. Yeah. We have one That's coming up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> definitely let me know. So, yeah. We have the most incredible people. Wow. You would, oh, they are just so wonderful. Our clients are amazing. Wow. It's so, oh, honestly, that we have the really best good. time. Sometimes at the end of the trip we'll just my partner and I look at each other and go, we did that. Yeah. We really exactly. did Exactly. Yeah. So it's been, it's been amazing that's good that's really good and, and it, it really does depend on the type of people that you have yeah and their attitudes behind it like yeah. look we're here to have a good time we know that everything is not going to be perfect but mm -hmm. hey let's go and have fun that's awesome yeah <laughs> how is it working with your partner it's going good mm -hmm. one year anniversary soon oh Good. Okay, so maybe we'll be doing some some big congratulations soon. You never know. I yeah. mean, <laughs> if he's watching, no pressure. <laughs> no pressure. Oh, exactly. It's like that's the plan when you're ready. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. yeah it'll happen. That's good. I'm glad to see that you're happy. I can oh, tell that you, you are. Thank you. This I can't is good. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So that's that's really good. Okay. So we got the travel stuff down mm -hmm. so tell us about what you're doing here in Ghana like what do you do Ooh. hey I mean in Ghana <laughs> in life I was gonna say you have to have multiple streams of income and then I remembered I was in Ghana and poof. yeah okay. so um, <laughs> I do many things 
um, some are just passion projects and some bring money so mm. I teach English online we both do that yeah actually. we do yes we both do that we, mm. I teach English online that helps me fund my baby girl lifestyle that's what I always say uh -huh. <laughs> yeah and obviously location Ghana we do the curated trips um, now we're adding events so we want to start covering events especially during the December season and stuff like that okay and have uh, start networking events because obviously we meet a lot of diasporians and mm. as one myself I know um, the struggle if you don't know anyone you want to start making friends and yes. stuff like that so we're trying to work on doing more events like that mm. um, and then I am <laughs> I've been told I should call myself a TV personality but uh -huh. I'm working to that so okay. I am a panelist on a talk show called The Dish on Mac MX24 okay which I absolutely love yeah like, and that's one of the things that I love about being in Ghana as well because I've always wanted to be on radio and TV okay but in the UK I'm sorry a dark skin girl like me yeah is not not happening that's not happening that's right so um in Ghana where you know I feel beautiful I yeah. feel you know richly melanated and that's just right. great yeah I'm on TV and I'm on radio that's it. <laughs> so it's really cool wow. and um yeah I'm thinking what else I'm also a YouTuber mm -hmm. so yes and a content creator uh, handle social media pages bring some extra cash in, you know, okay so doing a bit of everything but the main focus is YouTube and location Ghana okay and MX24 <laughs> that's good that's really good that's exciting I, I saw you doing the the TV stuff and I was like look at her okay <laughs> yes like that's so awesome Thank and I know you. that you enjoy I can tell you enjoy oh it yeah oh you. yeah yeah it's like this we basically just talk on TV it's like yeah. I love this you put a camera in my face and I get to say my opinions of course okay. and you know Ghanians we have no filter there's no such thing as like you know again in the UK there's like kind of restrictions on what you can say and like you know but in Ghana it's like you can say whatever is yeah. true yeah there's as long as there's respect of course but right we, we as Ghanians we respect ourselves we as you know people we respect <laughs> one another so it's not like crazy out there you that's know? right but it's not like oh my gosh you can't say that you know because you're gonna offend this group and you're gonna offend them so I, exactly. I, I like the freedom right I was about to say it's that freedom that I feel that Ghana just brings which is awesome thank you so much <laughs> <laughs> so we got some tea and guys the tea is blue so let me just show you Ooh, I like this cup at this um place we're at so we'll definitely pour some of that blue tea can you see it I don't know why colors get us excited, but I know, it's pretty. but it's just just because it's different, maybe. Okay, I just want to see. It's different. It. Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells good. So I have to have tea with the with the British here. So Ooh, chin chin. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hot but good. Mm. Oh. That's nice. Very nice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. So, what has Ghana taught you? Oh, I like this question, <laughs> but I feel like I need to think. <laughs> Ghana has actually taught me to think before you speak. Uh -huh. That's one. <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> so let me think. Mm -hmm. um, okay, Ghana has ta taught me a lot of things in general and things about myself. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do like one of each. So okay. uh, one thing about myself that I've noticed is that I can adapt mm -hmm. very easily and it kind of pushes you not to get comfortable in that situation. Mm -hmm. You always have to keep going. You can't say, oh, this has happened. Okay, deal with it and just sit and mellow in it. Look, mm -hmm. you gotta keep it moving. You gotta keep it pushing. You gotta fight and get back up because sometimes I, when I first moved here, I used to, to me, I feel like I was chilling. Mm -hmm. like I had pounds coming in and I was chilling. <laughs> But then in my area, I would see young girls selling buffro on the side of the road. Sometimes they would go to school, come back, help their moms and stuff like that. Mm. And I'm like, girl, they this young really, girl is hustling. That's right. What are you doing? Right. So I feel like your environment really teaches you that, you know what, there's no time for, as Ghanaians would say, darling. You mm. have to keep going. You yeah. have to keep going. So yeah. yeah. That's so it's taught you how to just kind of persevere and mm -hmm. push through. Yeah. yeah. 
yeah. But yeah. That's good. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> yeah, that's and that's something really important to learn, I think, in general, and especially um, about being adaptable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you definitely learn. I think we are all really adaptable, but you don't really know it unless it's tested. Yeah. So once I started leaving, the, uh, living abroad, because I lived in a couple of three different countries now. Wow. And yeah, and so I realized, like, well, I, I mean, I'm a, I've adapted to all of them. Mm-hmm. Like my mom is always like, well, "Whose child are you? You know, you just <laughs> go to these places, and what is that? What are you doing now? You know." So I'm like, I don't know. I just kind of blend in, and mm-hmm. I, you know, I just try to. Uh, um, I try to blend in, you know. Mm-hmm. So definitely, humans th- are really adaptable. Yeah, and I think it's also just having, like you said, being intentional and having the respect for the environment you find yourself in. Isn't yeah. It? Like, yeah, I think um, I know that for me, I know that Ghana is not the UK. I know that That's Ghana right. is not the US. That's and right. It's, and it's never going to be. It shouldn't aspire to be. We should be our own individuals, but um, strive for the best. Mm-hmm. We should always aim for better. Mm-hmm. So. As people complain about the economy and stuff like that, I'm like, okay, it's easy for me to get pack my bags and go, but at the end of the day, this is my motherland. Yeah. So if I'm going to be complaining about, you know, the economy and politics and stuff like that, I have to use my voice yes. to make a difference yes. and to encourage other young people to make that difference. So, yeah. yeah. I totally agree. Very well said. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> so do you think that your goals, like your original thoughts and goals and aspirations of moving to Ghana have been met? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I did the last vlog I did on my channel. Uh-huh. It's actually called, Am I Living the Dream? Like the Ghana dream that I envisioned for myself. Because wow. literally, it's like, That's I awesome. get to meet amazing people like yourself. Yeah. We come <laughs> out, you. we have dinner. Exactly. We talk, yeah. We are, you know, when people are leaving work, mm-hmm. miserable. And I mean, it happens in Ghana, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but, you know, we are here um, talking about the amazing experiences we are having. We are in control of our lives. I like that. That's right. And then, That's you know, um, today, uh, tomorrow is another day. I would get to go to the TV station. Someone mm-hmm. would do my makeup for me. Uh-huh. I would have my out, you know, like, it's yeah. fun. And I get to go on TV and we get to talk. Yes. And then on Saturday, I would have a trip. And then I will get to yes. take people around my country and show them the beauty that That's is right. Ghana. Yes. You know, someday I go to church, I praise God. And you know what? Like, yeah. I can say the things that I do in the week and it doesn't feel like a rat race. It right. just feels like this is what I want to do and I get to do it on repeat. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. all I wanted as a child, you know? Like That's when they so ask beautiful. you, what do you want to be? I'm the kind of the kid that was like, I want to be happy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So yes, I mean, it would be nice if it came with a couple million, but <laughs> <laughs> for now. Oh, it's coming. Don't worry. In it's Jesus coming. Name, That's I right. It. <laughs> hey, amen. So, amen. Yes. It will. Mm-hmm. And you are very deserving of it. And if you just invite that into your life, into your heart, and you continue to work towards it, exactly. it will happen. I Definitely. believe. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's great. You've made some great points, and I completely agree with the things that you're saying. Definitely, it definitely resonates with my spirit. (laughs) Yeah, I'm glad. (laughs) We are ready for 15 questions. I'm ready. (laughs) Are we ready, guys, for 15 (laughs) questions? Okay, so I have 15 questions here today that have been tailored for you. Ooh, I like this. Uh Uh-huh. These questions are meant to be very fast, Mm -hmm. you know, very fast-paced. Easy questions, so you'll be able to kind of fire away. I'm ready. I was born ready. (laughs) (laughs) You certainly were. So let's do this. Okay. Backpacking or luxury travel? Luxury travel. Oh! (laughs) Coffee or tea? Tea. Mm. The Brit in me. Ah, exactly. (laughs) Solo travel? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Plans or no plans? A bit of both. (laughs) Dessert? Always. Yes or no? Always. (laughs) Happiness or joy? Oh. Oh, damn. Um, okay, okay, okay. Okay, wait. All of it. All of it, please. My mental health needs all of it. Call or text? Uh, 
none because I'm terrible at both of them, but both because it's good that you guys are thinking about me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I will reply at some but point. You, but which one do you prefer? Text. Yeah, me too. I'm a text girl. Yeah, but I take forever to reply. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Adventure travel. Yes. Mm-hmm. Speed up or slow down? Speed down. <laughs> Breaking all the rules of the game, guys. I'm sorry. What we got to do with her? <laughs> City life or village life? City girl. Mm-hmm. Explore or itinerary? <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> I need. <laughs> I need an exploring itinerary. <laughs> dress up or dress down? Dress up. Beach or mountains? Beach. Beach. Because who's climbing the mountain? (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. Read or watch TV? Watch TV. (laughs) It's okay. Travel is an investment in yourself. Yes or no? Yes. Go out there. Learn about culture. Yeah. Definitely. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Thank you for talking. And I think... um, you're doing some wonderful things here, thank so you. keep it up. I'm watching. I'm rooting for you. Thank you. Yeah. Subscribe to my channel. Yes. <laughs> so to to end, please make sure you subscribe to Precious Hannah. So go ahead and tell them everywhere that they can find you. You can find me on YouTube, Precious Hannah One N One Word. Um, same one word one N underscore Precious Hannah underscore on Instagram. And yeah, those are my two hot spots. So okay. come and join me this bad. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. And if you're in Ghana, you can check her out on TV, right? Oh yeah, MX24. Yeah. And also um, follow us on Location Ghana. Um, location yes. underscore Ghana. When you're coming to Ghana, remember Ghana is not just Accra. Mm-hmm. So explore, you know, enjoyment. We are enjoyment ministers and ambassadors. So mm-hmm. come and join us. That's right. <laughs> yeah, join a trip. So those of you who are here, those who are coming, Let's go, let's go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look them up and um, and have a good time while you're here. So, yes, please subscribe. And don't forget to subscribe right here to Ty Inspire. And we will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs> now I believe I can be all I dream. The connection.